Thank you. 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 Thank you, President Holton. Hey, Anne, how are you? Um, this is a, a, a kind of a bon voyage for me to you. Um, I've enjoyed working with you this whole year. You've been terrific. When you first came on board to take the job, you said to me that, you know, I knew more about operating a university than you did. And, but after 11 months, I, I think it's, I think you're a very quick learner. <laughs> I've learned a lot from you. Um, I, I admire you greatly. Um, you've actually helped me with my job, even through this crisis. So I want to stay connected with you and I know we will. So, uh, so thank you for, for doing what you've done here. And, um, I look forward to the future. Hi, President Holton. This is Dave Paulson. On behalf of the men's basketball team, we want to thank you for your support, your encouragement, and your presence throughout this entire year. I always feel you can learn a lot about a leader and how they act in normal situations and in abnormal situations. And certainly from a normal situation, your willingness to come and have lunch with our team and listen and talk and share ideas uh, was really powerful to our guys. And I know they felt your support then and throughout the season. And then certainly, given the, all the circumstances going on in our country this spring, we've admired your leadership, your steadiness, your transparency, and your willingness to, to listen. So thank you so much for all your service and your support. And we certainly hope to see you at many, many more basketball games in the future. And I'd like to say thank you for your service as president of George Mason University. When the Board of Visitors asked you to take on the job of president while we searched for our next leader, we knew that your experience and your leadership skills would benefit the entire university. What nobody saw coming was how much your humor, your compassion, and your empathy would help you succeed in a job that nobody predicted, and that was the transition of the university during the time of the pandemic. You showed us all what leadership is about, and for that, we are truly thankful. Hi, Ann. I'm happy to offer a word of gratitude to you. And on behalf of everyone in University Life, I just want to thank you for your leadership over the past year. I think I'm in competition with other folks when I say that I believe that we provided you with your best memories, um, but I think I'm going to win on this one. And that, those memories are the ones that came from the fabulous dinners that you hosted at the Mappy House with so many students. That happened at your request. And it was great um, to have students share their journeys uh, to get to George Mason. And it was also great to have um, them engage you about your life and your journey as well. So thanks very much for all that you've done. And I look forward to working with you in the future. And thank you so much for your leadership over the past year. Your passion for education and for equity has been the bedrock upon which your time here at Mason as our president has been based. I look forward to working with you when you come back to the faculty in the fall, but I'll be honest, I'll miss having a woman as our president, someone whom I and others could look up to and find inspiration from. Thank you for your service, and I look forward to seeing you in the fall. And little did either of us envision at the time we had breakfast that morning at the Republican Club and we talked to you about being an interim president at George Mason University, uh, that you would in fact become a very transitional a transformative figure for the university for the years to come. You have exceeded expectations in every category. Uh, number one with the General Assembly, restoring a formula uh, that will help the university in its uh, financial well-being uh, for the out years for many years to come. And plus establishing relationships with the leadership that had been partially uh, fractured. Uh, secondly, restoring respectability and if you will, a sense of, of uh, companionship and coordination uh, with the faculty something that had been deteriorating for some time. Uh, you, were, you were very, very important in helping us make this transition to a new uh, president. Finally, managing through the COVID-19 crisis, who would have thought when we took this over? Uh, but we came out of it well. Uh, you set the university up in better shape than most universities in this country uh, for Gregory Washington as he comes in. And I think the thing to say is we're so proud you're gonna remain associated with the university in the years to come but you've made a real difference and I'm going to be happy to work with you uh, for a long time. Thank you. Hi, Ann. I have been so proud working with you over the last several years. Um, I have learned so much from you. It's been my honor to call you my colleague. It's been my honor to call you my boss. 
but most importantly, it has been such a true blessing to call you my friend. Thank you so much for all that you've done for me. Thank you so much for all that you've done for George Mason and the way that you have led this university over the last nine months have been incredible. And most importantly, thank you for all that you've done for the Commonwealth of Virginia. I wish you the best of luck on your next journey. And I look forward to going on that journey with you. And I um, just say, be safe, my friend, and best of luck to you, Godspeed. And thank you so much. Thanks for all that you've done for our university and thank you for all you've done for our Commonwealth. Uh, while serving as Secretary of Education, we had the opportunity to work closely together. And I watched then how you listened and how you heard what people were saying. As president, you have led our university during very uncertain times. And you helped to position the university in a forward way and I think in a very successful way. And to that, we owe you a great debt of gratitude. I wanna thank you for how you've helped me to, to understand the importance of listening, the importance of hearing others, and the importance of, of learning how to respond by engaging others in conversation and collaboration. I wanna thank you for leading the university during these uncertain times and for all that you've contributed. And I wanna thank you. I wanna thank you for your inspiration. I wanna thank you for your leadership. And most of all, I wanna thank you for our friendship which I cherish and know will last for the rest of our lives. Thanks so very much. Thank you, President Holton. On behalf of the Early Identification Program, I truly appreciated you hosting us at your home to learn about the lives and educational experiences of our alumni. Getting to learn more about you and your passion for working with students was so inspiring. Having the opportunity to meet and connect with you, as well as being a part of EIP since I was 13 years old, both reassured and reinforced Mason's commitment to the Early Identification Program and its students. Thank you again for your service and please never forget the impact Mason has had on hundreds of first-generation college-bound students who, like myself, have strived to improve our lives through attaining a higher education. Thank you. Hi, Anne. One thing we can say without a doubt is that this last year was anything but boring. I'm grateful for your leadership and how much you valued the importance of good communication. Whether it was tough questions about the details of a message to tweeting out photos from a basketball game at 10 o'clock at night, you understood as well as anyone that connecting with our community and being transparent builds trust. I will miss our conversations and most of all, I will miss you. I wish you the best. Thank, Thank you, you President, President Holton. Holton.